Okay, guys, this is it. This is the final episode of Call of Cthulhu. Hopefully, you have been enjoying Call of Cthulhu. And yeah, let's get right into this, guys. Fight, 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 fight. What happened to me? Sarah. I must go to Sarah. She is the Oracle. She will know what to do. Destiny will guide me out of these caves. She would only have slowed me down. Okay, I'm very confused. The miraculous catch was a trap. Leviathan wanted to be found. None of this makes sense. Go! She is waiting. <sighs> what have they done to me? Deja vu. Come on. Oh! Ah, uh, Mr. Pierce. I was expecting you. Fuller. You died in front of my eyes. Don't jump to conclusions. Is there not the tiniest spark of a scientific mind inside of that detective skull of yours? What abject substance did you use to turn her into an empty shell? Abject substance? The serum extracted from Leviathan's oil bestows the power of life. To me, my body is nothing but the mortal vessel of my conscience. To you, it contains more answers and secrets than your insignificant mind can grasp. You can barely 
barely stand up, and yet, here you are. You never give up. That is not you. Not anymore. Not since your disappearance on the docks. Ah, detective. Oh, shit, that's good. So easy to fool you. So eager to rush to the rescue of a woman in distress. <laughs> you won't make me regret having tried to save people. I did what I could. Even for Colden. Your efforts to change your destiny, although in vain, make you worthy of the fate that is yours. The day has come. You will be asked to choose. again no no it's just you took everything from me wife life destiny you first took your right to a normal life the moment you chose power over humanity no one wants to see such an unbearable sight You don't have the slightest idea of what you speak, of what I've been through. I have sacrificed my life to the one who sleeps. My marriage, my family, my own flesh. Why didn't Sarah choose me? Why is it your damn face on her painting? You guys sort of do look alike. But you already know it. I can see that you will make the right choice. I don't know. I don't know. Your fear of the unknown and your stupid pride cloud your judgment. Quit lying to yourself and embrace your destiny. Damn. It's not cowering that brought you those medals. None of this is real. Trust your guts. If nothing's real, what are you? I am a projection of your mind. What remains of that instinct that pulled you out of the trenches? Reality. Don't listen to them. They're too dangerous for your tired mind. Okay. I think I'm gonna listen to reality. He seems like he has good, a good head on his shoulders. Shoot, you can see him, see you are. Do it again. That's like one of his arms, I think. It's right there. I'm almost there. Here you are at last, Truth Seeker. She was waiting for you. You were waiting for me? Yes. When I finally discovered the truth, I knew you would come. All this time I was fighting it, afraid of what I might discover. But I was afraid of myself. What's he doing? Coming. What did you learn? <laughs> Listen to me, Edward Pierce, as I will deliver the truth. Look around you. Everything is falling apart. 
You deny, must deny, stop deny. this madness. I can't make that choice. This will be your decision. One man, one man only prepared by the trials and revelations, holds the power to change the world. Because I saw you in the dreams I share with my God. I recognize you for what you are, a truth seeker. One of the rare humans who is able to perceive fragments of his mind. Yes, yes! I feel the truth in your words. Because it was written. Or, as I like to see it, painted on the canvas of fate. Pierce, help me! I gotta help him. Yo, that's dead silence. The knife we use to kill... What's it called? Can't save this one again. Vinglui Mutla Nafa Katulu Maganagal Vatane. Thank you. 
Yep, this seems a bit right. Because in the book, if you stand to him, look into his eyes, you will go. And I'm guessing everyone looked into his eyes. It's sort of like uh, uh, the movie uh, Red Box. If you stare into the monster's eyes, they go crazy. Like this. Damn, it was her. And here's the second ending, guys. Okay, oh, it gives me straight to the... I guess skip through the dialogue. There's a shadow. I'm guessing it's stuff. Will you trust me? Yes. One man because I have the truth. Yes. I feel because Pierce, help me. So we can skip this. What the hell? <laughs> Very shame. Okay. So let's see what this ending gives us. It's gonna be him in a crazy, crazy incident, right? as you asked us to, Doctor. Good. Thank you. Okay, guys. 
guys. That was Call of Cthulhu. Uh, hopefully you did enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Twitch, and Discord, guys. All links are below. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys next time.